Hello guys and welcome to another Hacker Rank video. We're going to be solving breaking the records. And I've gone ahead and whiteboard this problem, but I haven't come up with a definite code for it. So let's go ahead and implement something. So let's click on the problem and let's look at the problem description. Uh, it says that Maria plays college basketball and she wants to go pro. For each session, she maintains a record of her play. She turbulates the number of times she breaks <coughs> her record for most points and least points in the game. Points scored in the first game establish her record for this season. So this is important, right? The first score that she gets. And she begins counting from there. For example, assume her scores for this season are represented in an erase score. Give you the values here. Scores are in the same order as the games played. She would tabulate her results as follows. So for the first game, her minimum and maximum score is going to be the same, and her min and max are going to be the same because there there is no score for her to compare that to, right? And in the next game, she scores twenty four points. So her maximum goes up, right? And her minimum is still twelve, but her maximum, a new maximum, is, is twenty four now. So uh, max gets one here. Here, she gets a ten, right? And her minimum before was 12. Well, 10 is less than 12, so her new minimum is 10, right? So minimum gets one point here. And then she gets a 24. However, her maximum was already 24, and since this is not a new maximum, it still stays the same, right? So this is a very, very easy problem. Um, so I guess rather than making this code easier I'll probably make it harder hmm so let's see all right let's let's hmm let's see okay so I'm gonna use uh, Java 8 for this and we're gonna try to come up with a functional solution for this okay instead of using imperative let's do some functional stuff and yeah this should be it should be fun and interesting okay Okay, so we need to keep track of, of her mean and max, right? And then we need to keep track of um, her low and high scores so that we can use that to calculate the next mean or max, okay? Also, we need to go over all of the scores and then we need to go ahead and return a new array of her mean and max score. So if we're gonna use uh, functional programming, we can't just do things like int min and uh, max uh, because uh, this will not work. You can increment primitives within uh, an interface, a functional interface, okay? So the only way that we can do this is by using uh, uh, atomic classes, okay? So we can use atomic classes for this. The other way to fix this would be to have an anonymous function inside of our uh, interface, and then we can increment directly from that. But I feel like that's an overkill for this problem. So let's not take that approach. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead, let's create an um, atomic uh, integer. Call this min equals new atomic integer. And the initial value is going to be zeros for this. So let's do the same thing for uh, max. All right. Now we need to go ahead and also keep track of the high and low scores, right? So if we're going to pass this inside of a, of a functional interface, it has to be final. It, with Java, it will not accept anything that grows, okay? So like I said, if you want to make something that grows, you have to create an anonymous function that takes care of that. And since I said that was an overkill, that means that we have to create our um, variables in a different way. So we can go ahead and create a final. So we can just create a final uh, final array. And let's call this high and low. I guess it, this, this should be fine. I'm going to equal, you know what, let's make this Let's make the let's make this score zeros, okay, for the max and the min. So we're gonna 
use uh, the first subscript for the max and then you're gonna use the second subscript for the min. All right, so just make them zeros for now. All right, and then we need to go ahead and um, we need to go ahead and loop over our uh, values inside of the scores array here. So um, we can use the uh, in stream. Spell this right. So do in stream, and we can either use the range, or we can use the off that takes a varg, and we can just pass in scores here. All right. So that's the easy one. If you want to walk up the range, uh, that means that since we're using the zeros, you can exclude that. But uh, I guess like I would just I'm just gonna leave it like this, and we're still gonna include the for the other one. So once we go in here, we have to go through each value. So we're gonna use it for each loop, and then we're gonna create a value that we're gonna the 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 current value that we're gonna be using, and we're gonna pass in a lambda, and create a body for this. All right. Okay. All right. So I, I hope that this is not like killing you guys already. So what we're just doing is we're just looping over the values in this array. All right. And for us to actually go ahead and store values, like I said, either we're going to use an anonymous uh, function that we pass in here, or we can go ahead and make things final so that um, it doesn't give us an error. All right. So once we're here, we just need to check and see uh, if uh, the current score is greater, right, than the high score, which is going to be in zero. And uh, then we need to go ahead and keep track of the new score, right? So we're going to say that uh, the current new score. So if the current score is greater than the high score. That means that it's a new score. So we're going to make the current uh, score the new high score. And then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and increment the max. So we're going to say max dot. We're going to get and increment. All right. And this is pretty much it for the for max. And then now we have to handle min so we're going to say if score uh, is less than we're going to do a high one low and high one so it's going to be the min score then we have a new min score so we're going to say a high one is going to equal do the current score and then we need to go ahead and increment the min so we're going to say min um, we're going to get an increment, right? So once we're we're done with this, we just need to go ahead and um, return the uh, max the max uh, number of of scores that she got and the mean number of scores that she got. All right. So uh, what we can do here is return. Uh, a new uh, int array, and we need to go ahead and pass in. Um, uh, we do max dot int value because this is going to be of type uh, atomic, and uh, we need to go ahead and convert that. And here we do the same thing. Do int int value, and this should be it. For this, uh, all right. So I know for sure that this is gonna go ahead and fail, right? I, just because um, this isn't the first time I've done a hacker rank problem using functional interface, right? And the reason has to do with the import. So let's go ahead and launch it for a second, and then we'll see how to fix those eventually. All right. So the first thing is that it says that it cannot find the atomic classes, which I, I thought that would be the case. And the in stream isn't found either, which it's pretty okay as well. And what else? Uh, any 
yeah it seems it seems it seems normal okay so what we need to do is we need to actually go ahead and do a few imports we want us we actually want to go ahead and import um java dot util uh, stream and in stream all right and then we also want to import uh java dot util dot concurrent dot atomic dot atomic integer all right so this should this is these are the full paths for this i don't know why it does this even though um you know we could just add it atomic here and that should have been fine but for some reason it still didn't work that way and it's been a problem with hacker rank but it's fine so now let's go ahead and run this and see if there are any errors all right and this works and let's go ahead and submit all right guys this will be it for this tutorial if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button um if you have any requests or you don't understand what's going on drop a comment down and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you like this video give me a thumb up i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye